There we go, I guess. Cool. Cool beans. Oh, oh no. Okay. What? Oh! <laughs> what? Okay, wait, wait a second. Who was that? Ah! Uh, what do I do? Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dodgy and today we are playing a new game. This one is called Killer Frequency. Now this was on my radar a couple days ago. I finally got it and I was also requested to play this game by one of my viewers. So thank you for the suggestion. With that being said, sit back, relax, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. Cool, cool. All right, so here we go, Killer Frequency. Now I have no idea what to expect of this game. I tried very hard not to see anybody else play or like any kind of previews. I just saw little cutscenes here and there. I do know that you are a radio star host and shit gets weird to say the least. All right, neat. Movement, same as it always is, WASD. Uh, and we can look around. Wow, look at this. I mean, then look at this then. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. It's like, it, it almost kind of reminds me of like a comic book style in a way. Grab that bottle of mysterious liquid. Um, I'm guessing it's supposed to be a beer. What do I do with this? What do I do with it? Can... Oh, okay. 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 All right. Cool. So I could put that there. Open this. Am I supposed to throw this mysterious liquid? Oh, wait. There we go. Am I supposed to throw it in there? Wait. Boop. Can I... Can I toss it in there? Let's see if we could toss it. Hold on. Oh, that didn't go far. Am I supposed to hold it? I'm not really throwing it very far. Uh, what was the other one? I have to drop. It just falls. Okay. Hello? Thought I heard somebody behind me. Am I supposed to just drop it? There we go. Yeah. I'm not sure what else I would need that for. I've got something here. What is this? You can't read it. It's all scribbles. So... Where am I supposed to go? We're just in a dirty, rotten alley. Why am I even here? What did that do? What did I do? Let me shut that. I'll never know that I was here. Alright. Oh. What was that? Keep hearing strange... Hello? Hello? Is somebody back there? Oh, there's a person there. I see you. Hey. Maybe not? I don't know. That was weird. Okay. Huh. This place is getting weirder and weirder. Okay. May inspect it. Pressing E. Do I have to... Oh, okay. Holding. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. That's how you inspect it. Got an inspector gadget. Okay. Cool. Here. Take it. Do I take the mousetrap? What am I doing with this mousetrap? I'm gonna... I'm gonna set it... Set it down. Oh, there we go. Just in case. Crouch. Okay. Alright. We're getting somewhere. Slowly, but surely. Do I need this cup? I'm, I'm gonna just take this cup anyways. You never know. Fam. My fam cup. Why am I back here? I just woke up in the back alley. Am I a hobo? I might be a hobo. Oh. Oh, it's just a pipe. Somebody must be doing their laundry. Hello? Was there somebody here? I thought I saw a shadow. Okay, maybe not. Opening doors. Alright, randomly walking into a building. Maybe I work here, I don't know. I'm gonna just set that there. Nice clock. Oh, I should probably shut this door. Uh, 
Okay. There we go, I guess. Cool. Cool beans. Oh, oh no. Okay. What? Oh! <laughs> what? Okay, wait, wait a second. Who was that? Ah! Uh, what do I do? Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hi! Hello! That's not good. Okay. Killer frequency, guys. This is gonna be interesting. Hey! You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know... Uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? Forrest? No, I, I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And every time. Do we have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to, mm, yes, because I have right, no idea what fine. I'm doing. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Oh really? God. Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Ugh, Buckle you're in, annoying. folks. We're about to hit some tubularants. Oh, let's God. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> All right. Okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Boop. And press play. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Great. Now turn it off. Boop. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Okay. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Oh, okay, so that's line one. All right, Peggy, ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. Uh -huh. it's all right. You're Great. funny. And button two works just the same. Okay. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, mm -hmm. the Peggy button. Press That's when you need my help during the show. Peggy, hmm. okay. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm silly. I am silly. I, you know what? No, I'm stupid. Because the Peggy button, it clearly says right there, Peggy button. And I press the second come button. On, okay, okay. Just press the button. I press the button. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey oh. now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Okay. Is this the sound blaster? Or is this the sound blaster? There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, oh, okay. we're almost done. All right, Just all right. the volume sliders left. Oh, These oh, okay. should let you affect pretty much everything. Yeah. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Okay. Simple enough. Cool. There. I did it, Peggy. What does this do? Sliders should be right in front of you. Like, directly in front. What does that do? What does this do? What about this? All right. Seems oh. to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local Great. Time. I should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Cool. Now, let's get the show started. Let's After do this. Introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, cool. Thanks, Reggie. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right. Let's okay, do this. Okay, you're live in three, two... 
Oh god. Solve the clock? Is this gonna be like a Good Five Nights at Freddy's thing? This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening Forrest to Nash. 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. Guess this that is actually scream. one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that guess scream. That scream. <laughs> we need you to guess hey, why. Hey, there scream. we go. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or Oof. discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, oh forest, no, that's hit awful. With the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. He sounds so enthused. Hey, what do you mean, play the tape? What tape? I just Which have tape? a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come Ooh. on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. What you tape? You we're doing this tonight. Which hey, tape? Let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. Oh, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Okay. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so. Ooh, no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> I hate, I hate what I've become. Are you serious? I won't do it. I used to go out all across America. And mm -hmm. now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close and then call in to guess, guess that, that scream. scream. Oh, let's see. Falling from. Oh, uh. Drowning. Let's do drowning. That was lame. That was so lame. Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guess. Now... Here's some music while you get dialing. Yeah, there we go. Let's turn this bad boy up. Okay. Should I introduce the song? Yes. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. 1980X? That just sounds oh, like a pretty God, cool Forrest, uh, song. That was amazing. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Oh, great. Do I put... Do I put these on? Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh, sorry. Time uh, to turn the music off. Uh, how do I put this down? Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Turning it off. Hello? Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller? Scream. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. What? Ah, uh, let's see. Slow night? Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. Yeah, what seriously. For you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Uh, Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. What? I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. You should Leslie, call the sheriff. Leslie, for telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or wow, whatever? Wow, it's a small I'm town the if they know. Office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? what? Sheriff Matthews is dead? Oh no! I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. No. Oh god, poor Sheriff Matthews. Not Sheriff Do Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. 
Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say what they did to him. You, did he fight back? You I shouldn't. Don't know. <laughs> what are you? I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but uh yeah, where are the other officers? I don't I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? Yeah, no, seriously. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. What? I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. <laughs> but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Oh, Leslie, of course. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone Goodness. over from their department. I tried, but I can't yeah. call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Oof. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, oh, I've routed no. all 911 calls to come in to you. Why? Why? This is a bad idea. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. That is a what terrible you idea. You do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. Not really. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, oh, you dang. know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Oh, great. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. Oh, I no. have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Okay. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Okay. Try to break down the door. Find another way into the cell. Find another set of keys. So the, the keys are inside. So this is definitely like a puzzle mind game. Okay, so if the keys are in the cell, there's a trace, trace lot. It's too small. I know you can't break down the door. You're not going to be able to. So I would say find another set there's of keys. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Especially considering you're... You're in the department. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Uh, check the officer's desk. Check, check Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... Inevitably. You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. Double check. One second. Go ahead, double check. Oh, I think I might be sick. Yeah, don't Sorry, throw up. Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and. Ugh. Oh god. Please I can don't hear it. stare at me. <laughs> what do you but... mean he's dead? Oh, wait. That might be them. <laughs> I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Yes. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his death. Do the keys work? Hey, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate you. Welcome to the Dune Squad. Right so far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I'm feeling great! I solved the mystery! <laughs> I can't handle this all night. Probably not. I think we can handle this. I'm quick. I'm quitting KFM if this is a prank. <laughs> yes. I swear to God, Peggy, if swear this to is God. some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. Absolutely. I've never heard of anything like, like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Okay. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. Is she conscious? I'm back. 
Deputy Martinez is still out cold. Okay, but she's still I breathing. I'm in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Uh, that is the right thing to do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risks right now. No risks! Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? What was that? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? Oh no. How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No, Wait! No way. That was the same that whistling! Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like... Whistling. Whistling? It can't be. It can't be. Oh no. Oh, I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask and... How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling, the whistling man. man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think it's a copycat killer. Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Lock the doors. Lock the doors. Leslie, stay oh, inside. They, they the time doors. it? They right. time it? Wow, they timed this. Okay, there's there's okay, parts that are timed. My car is torched. We need to think. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 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 hide, uh, take take the police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Let me check if Martinez has any, uh, just reach into, into her pocket. your pocket there, deputy, and yes, got him. Squad Keep car three. Squad car three. Go. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. Yes, but I got brains. Wait. What? How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Okay. Uh, take Sheriff Matthews' gun. Uh, take Deputy Martinez's gun. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Oh, shit. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Okay. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Oh, shit. It's, it's empty. empty. No. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Oh, no. Uh, uh, can you see any other weapons? Uh, is there a weapon lockup? Mm. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let see. me check Deputy Martinez's belt. You wait, you just you just said that Deputy Martinez didn't have her gun with her. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. Okay, baton, I pepper spray. One if I'm carrying Deputy taser. Martinez. Okay. Which should I take? Uh definitely the taser. Taser taser. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Cuz that way you can like point and shoot. No, I, I can't hear anything. Exactly, it's gone quiet. No more knocking. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. No. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay, Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. She's Just not going to move. on me. <sighs> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? Yeah, I wouldn't Child go out like there. The present, right? Oh, she's going to so, die. <laughs> she's going to die. Here we go. Oh Again, no. You're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Okay. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Hopefully. Uh Good luck, Leslie. Oh, and she hung up. Okay, great. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> the whistling you know, man? I gotta say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Sweet. Hello? Hello. Forrest? Hey, Peggy? you made it. This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Uh, 10-4. That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Sweet, Deputy good. Martinez is in the passenger seat still out cold. 
Okay. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. No, I wouldn't either. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Oh, get, no. Get back! Get away from her! Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, what's Husband, happening? What's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Why, why didn't you, like, turn the, the car? Yeah, take that! Okay, good, good. She, she tased him. Drive! Leslie, drive! Just drive, go! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez, we're out of here! Sounds like you handled that pretty well. Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. <laughs> oh they God, use a taser. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, nice. yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. For sure. Leslie, how long do you think it's gonna take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Uh, d -d 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 -d. Better floor it. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in, oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Oh, that's good. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Sounds good. Take care, Leslie. And be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Awesome. There we go. All right. So that was the uh, Folks, first. You heard it here. First uh, challenge on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. Counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show. Meanwhile, if you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on one eighty nine point sixteen. The scream. Ah, oh, that. That was that was actually kind of fun. I, I'm like, I don't even know really what to say. So it, I thought it was gonna be like almost like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing, but I mean, it's just me. Ah, I can't even talk. It's basically because of the setup. The setup here looks like it's a, a little bit of like a Five Nights at Freddy's, but with a co-host. Really weird. So definitely got like that '80s vibe. Uh, we have a serial killer on the loose, the Whistling Man. That is. Uh, a funny name, funny nickname, but it, it suits him considering we heard him outside and he was also right there in front of us when we first walked in. So that's uh, that's not good. He killed the hobo that was in the street. I mean, nobody's going to really miss him, but uh, we know what happened. So, I mean, we're 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 guilty basically by association. <laughs> I would definitely like to play a little bit more of this game. So if you guys did like this little demonstration, I know this video is going to be really short. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this game, Killer Frequency. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I love you. Don't forget your boobs. Okay, bye.